chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again what is similarity of two triangles supposing this is one triangle and this is a second triangle from our day to day knowledge we can say that two triangles are similar if they are proportionately scaled there is a zoom factor one is proportionately bigger than the other in that case we say that the two triangles are similar to each other we can for example have a photograph which is small in size the same photograph can be enlarged to a bigger size proportionately we say the two photographs are similar they are not exactly equal but they are similar because their proportions are maintained when another figure another photograph is made out of the first photograph the situation in case of triangle is also similar we say this triangle is similar to this triangle if respective angles are equal this is one thing respective angles must be equal so this angle should be equal to this angle this angle should be equal to this angle and the third pair is obviously going to be equal so one thing is that the respective angles they should be equal to each other the second thing that we can say is that the ratio of respective sides should be same in layman's language we can say that if this is side a this is length b this is length c and this is length a dash this is length b dash and this is length c dash then a over a dash should be same as b over b dash equal to c over c dash in layman's language we can say that if the side of this triangle is double the side of this triangle then this side should be double this side this side should also be double this side that is the proportions of the sides are maintained technically we can write a by a dash should be equal to b by b dash which should be equal to c by c dash so two triangles will be similar if respective angles are equal and the ratio of the sides is also equal these two things they will guarantee that two triangles are similar in all respects this means that if we have to prove two triangles as similar then we must prove six things three three angles and three sides we must prove three relationships that is this side to this side this side to this side these three things and the other for three angles we should prove six things to prove that two triangles are similar but we can prove that these six things are not required we can choose to prove either two angles as equal for example we can say if this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle then we can prove that the other sides will maintain the same ratio automatically and the third angle will also be automatically equal so we do not have to prove six things it is sufficient to prove two things 
if we can prove two angles. This is the AA rule of similarity which we are going to prove today. Then if you cannot prove two angles then you should prove that three sides are respectively in the same ratio. The three angles will automatically become equal. If we can prove that the three sides are in the same ratio then we do not have to prove the angles they will automatically always be equal. This fact is also provable and we will prove it. So instead of 6 either you prove these 3. Likewise there is an SAS rule. It says that either you can prove two sides are proportional and the included angle is equal. If you can prove these 3 set then also the all other factors will automatically be true. So these 3. So in our practical day to day life things we do not have to go for these 6 things. We can either go for these 2 or these 3 or these 3 and we will be able to prove that two triangles are similar. The objective of today's discussion is to prove these things and take up one example. So let us proceed with our AA rule right now. If in two triangles corresponding angles are equal then their corresponding sides are in the same ratio and hence the two triangles are similar. Let me draw a diagram to explain the situation. Suppose these are two triangles. Let us mark them as ABC and D E F. So if there are any two triangles A B C and D E F and angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E, just two of them need to be sufficient because the third pair will automatically be equal because sum of angles of a triangle is fixed at 180 degrees. So we need to prove that if this is given then this is what we have to prove that AB upon DE will be equal to AC upon DF will be equal to BC upon EF. This is what we have to prove and if we are able to prove this then we will say that if in two triangles only two angles are respectively equal then their sides will automatically become equal, equal in ratio and therefore the two triangles will be automatically proved to be similar. Let me now show the proof of this. From DE let us cut a point called P so that DP is same as AB. So cut DP such that DP is equal to AB. This is what we cut and also cut also cut DQ such that DQ is equal to AC. It is possible to do that because on any segment we can cut any length. This time we have decided to cut DP equal to AB and DQ equal to AC which is very much possible. Nothing is wrong. Now let us join P to Q. Join P to Q to make a triangle DPQ. So this is one triangle that we make out of it. There is an interesting observation that triangle DPQ is congruent to triangle ABC. Why is it congruent? because this side 
is equal to this side that we already know and this side is equal to this side by construction we have already taken dp and dq in such a way so that these two sides are respectively equal and angle a has already been given equal to angle d so by side angle side congruency rule these two triangles are congruent to each other this is our first step of reasoning that we are doing now we will proceed on this point to finally prove our question whatever we are wishing to prove right now now if these two triangles are congruent then this angle should be equal to angle b and this angle should be equal to c now if this angle is equal to that and that angle is equal to e that means angle p and e are equal that also means this angle is equal to this angle what does this mean this means pq should be parallel to ef these are the corresponding angles on the same side of the transversal we can write which implies pq is parallel to ef so this is an interesting conclusion that we get absolutely on the basis of facts that this angle is equal to this angle therefore this pq should be parallel to ef now if pq is parallel to ef then the immediate conclusion is which further implies that pe by dp that is this side to this this length to that length should be equal to qf by dq why this is by the basic proportionality theorem that we proved in our previous lecture pe divide this pe divided by this dp should be equal to fq divided by dq this will hold if this line pq is parallel to ef which is already proven by us next add 1 to both the sides of this equation you will understand why i am adding 1 let me first add it plus 1 should be equal to qf by dq plus 1 let us take dp as lcm this becomes pe plus dp and in this side we can take dq as the lcm it becomes qf plus dq these two we can immediately see are what which implies pe plus dp pe plus dp will be same as de so we can say de by dp is equal to qf plus dq qf plus dq is also df by dq now dp what is dp let us examine the figures this dp is known equal to this ab and this dq is known equal to this ac so we can make the substitutions de by ab should be equal to df by ac so this proves that the ratio of this entire side to this side and the ratio of this entire side to this side should be equal this will be equal if all the three angles are respectively equal because this reasoning is dependent on my starting point where i assumed all these angles as equal i have drawn a parallel line pq like this but if i repeat the process by drawing a line like this then i can prove the equality of the third side also 
just like I proved the equality of two ratios of two sides, then I can similarly prove the equality of the third side with one of these two sides. And therefore, all the three ratios can be proved equal. So we will say that DE by AB will be equal to DF by AC will be equal to EF by BC. So this is proved beyond doubt and this proof rests solely on the fact that the angles should be respectively equal, not three angles, just two angles will be sufficient. I hope you understand the beauty of the whole process is the sequence in which we are reasoning out the things. One step is dependent on the previous step, this step leads to the next step and how one by one we are ultimately able to prove wonderful rules which appear very difficult at the first instance. Questions based on this sequence, questions based on this logic, they are always there in the exams. We will be definitely helped if we understand these proofs. So you should take your own notebook and try to solve these questions. Try to prove, prove them yourself and write the steps neatly. I have not written neatly because I was explaining to you side by side. So you should try to write them neatly on a piece of paper because I have a limitation of space also. So let us now move on to our next part. If in two triangles respective sides are in the same ratio, then their corresponding angles are also equal and hence the triangles are similar. This is a tough, tough theorem, but we will prove it. It will take more space also. But this is a very interesting theorem. Let this be a triangle ABC. Let the length of this be C, the length of this be B and the length of this be A. And let there be another triangle that has been given to us. Let us mark that triangle as D, E, F. He says respective sides are in the same ratio. So what he has given us is we will write we have been given D, E by C is equal to E, F by A is equal to df by b. This is one thing that has been given to us. And we have to prove that the angles are equal. That is again, that again looks difficult at first sight. But let us see, take the challenge, try to solve it. Take a point p here and take a point q here. We will write cut dp equal to c and dq equal to b and join pq. So let us join p and q and let this be b. dp has been cut equal to ab, dq has been cut equal to b which is absolutely possible because we can cut any length along a line, any length along a line, we have done nothing wrong so far. PQ are two points such that DP is C and DQ is B. This ratio C, DE, this step one has already been given to us. This is our first step in proof that we have begun by joining PQ. This is what we are at the stage, current stage now. Before I proceed further, let me show you something interesting. If this is a triangle and this is let us say a triangle DEF and let us say this point is P and this point is Q and this length is let us say C and this is B, then if C by PE is equal to B by QF. Just for 
द केस ऑफ बेसिक प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी थ्योरम लेट एस सपोज द बेसिक प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी थ्योरम इज ओबेइंग इन दिस केस एंड इफ पी क्यू इज पैरल टू ई एफ नो रिलेशन विद दिस वन दिस इज समथिंग डिफरेंट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू शो पी क्यू इज पैरल टू ई एफ देन सी बाय पी ई विल बी इक्वल टू बी बाय क्यू एफ दिस इज बाय बेसिक प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी थ्योरम एड वन टू बोथ द साइड्स सो वट डू वी गेट सी प्लस पी ई बाय पी ई इज इक्वल टू बी प्लस क्यू एफ बाय क्यू एफ वी हैव टेकन रिस्पेक्टिव एल्सियम्स सी प्लस पी ई दिस वन मीन्स द एंटायर साइड डी ई बाय पी ई विल बी इक्वल टू द एंटायर साइड डी एफ बाय क्यू एफ दिस इज अनदर एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द बेसिक प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी थ्यूरम इट सेज दैट If a line is parallel to the third side, then the ratio of the entire side to a small portion is equal to the ratio of the entire side DF to the respective small portion of the third side. We know by basic proportionality that CE by PE has to be equal to B by QF. But if we add one to both the sides, then we can see that the entire DE to this and similarly entire de to c will be equal to entire df to b so let us now come back to this side we were here we have cut dp equal to c and dq equal to b and joined pq now let me take up this and the last ratio de by c is equal to df by b this is what it is subtract subtract 1 from both sides so what do we get de by c we will get something like this subtracting 1 basically what i showed you here i am doing it here which implies de minus c would be pe pe to c would be equal to this df minus b means qf is remaining qf by b so in effect we were given the ratio of the entire side to a small part entire side to a small part we can obviously by adding one or subtracting one conclude that the ratio of the smaller part to smaller part smaller part to smaller part would also be equal this is what i was trying to say here and i have concluded the same thing here also so now so far what we have is that pe to c should be equal to qf by b what does this imply immediately this implies that pq should be parallel to ef this is by the basic proportionality theorem if the two sides are in a proportion same proportion then the line connecting p and q will have to be parallel to the third side ef the objective of the entire story is to prove that angle a is equal to angle d angle b is equal to angle e angle c is equal to angle f the whole objective is that i told you at the start that this proof is going to be a bit long also but so far what i am proceeding in a very slow manner i have concluded that if i take p and q such that this dp c and dq is b then this line pq will be such that it will be parallel to ef this is what i have done so far this immediately means that this angle should be equal to this angle and this angle should be equal to this angle the parallel lines and the transversals 
So I can write it in words also which implies angle P should be equal to angle E and angle Q should be equal to angle F. So this angle is equal to this angle, this angle is equal to this angle which immediately leads us to an interesting conclusion that triangle DPQ that is this smaller triangle should be similar to this is similar sign to the larger triangle DEF by double A rule. We have proved this angle equal to this, this angle equal to this. Therefore, this smaller triangle is similar to the larger triangle. We needed to just prove two angles from the double A rule which we have proved just now. So, if I for the timing mark the length of PQ as X, then what we can conclude is that the ratio of DE the ratio of the side of larger triangle to the corresponding side of the smaller triangle should be exactly equal to the ratio of EF to this small x. This is one thing that we can immediately conclude. So, if we compare now this set with this one DE by CE is equal to EF by A here it is EF by X. Therefore, which implies X should be equal to A. We compared with 1. X should be equal to A because DE by CE has been proved equal to EF by X and DE by CE has been given equal to EF by A. Therefore, X should be equal to A. So, I will cross this X and write A here. So, it now leads us to our next step. What is the next step? That C and C, B and B and A and A which implies triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DPQ by the triple S rule. All the three sides are respectively equal. Therefore, the triangles should be congruent to each other. Now, this one leads me to another thing. I hope you are appreciating the chain of conclusions that we are building here. This immediately leads me to the conclusion that angle P should be equal to angle B. I have reached PB. Because this triangle is congruent to this, therefore this B should be equal to this and this angle C should be equal to angle Q and likewise this angle should be equal to this angle. So, which implies angle P should be equal to angle B. One thing, angle C equal to angle Q and the third thing is that angle A should be equal to angle D. I am using this line separator to tell that we have three different facts which implies but angle P is already equal to angle E during the process we have seen that this is parallel to this so this is equal to this which implies angle E should be equal to angle B. And likewise, angle C should be equal to angle F. And angle A is already equal to angle D. So, which proves the requirement. We have proved that if DE by C is equal to EF by A is equal to DF by B, then this angle E should be equal to B, F should be equal to C, D should be equal to A. We have beyond doubt proved that if the respective sides are in the same ratio, then their corresponding angles are also equal 
and hence the triangles are similar by the triple S rule. You should try to solve this on your notebook again, that will help you out. Come back to see the video, steps, I have given more in steps but less in writing. You should watch this video again to see the steps. Let us move on to our next part now. We will now take up the SAS proof, the side angle side and then we will take up a proof question on the medians.